Hello everyone, welcome to JS Cakes and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about the Angular 19, newly released Angular version. And we are also going to be talking about what are the new things which has, in, which has been introduced in Angular 19 by the Angular team. So if I quickly take you to the Angular 19 documentation, it is essentially releasing today. So if you look at it here, that Angular 19 would be live and then the developer preview is available. Or this preview would be available in a few moments from now essentially in 42 minutes so once this gets released i'm what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to be reading about all the latest greatest feature and then i'll try to implement all those new feature released by angular 19 and we'll try to implement it in one of the dashboard or one of the applications that we're going to be building along the way so here is the application essentially that we are going to be building in this tutorial so so the would be formed in two parts the first part in which I'll talk about all the all the features of Angular 19 and what is what is new, what is uh, what is not uh, so good about it, like how the deferable views work, how how the event flow works, and things like that. Post that once the theory part is complete, and we will write some gist also along with it. Right after that, I'm going to be jumping onto this particular application, and we'll try to build this ground up. So this particular application is available here on this GitHub repository from the Start Bootstrap SB admin. It is available with the MIT license. So I'm going to be just copying this. I'm not really going to be making use of Angular Bootstrap per se, but I'm going to be making use of Material. So this particular dashboard, we are going to be building in Angular Material. So here is the dashboard. Here is going to be the layout, the static navigation, the light side nav or the dark side nav. Right. So and then, then here um, on the pages, I'm going to be looking at the login page. This is how it will look. And I'm also going to be looking at the register page forgot password page all of these pages would essentially fall under authentication and we are going to be building three error pages one is for 401 the other is for 404 and then post that we are going to be building for 500 right so whenever server returns 500 this is what essentially we are going to be showing right and then also the also in this application we are going to be building some charts the chart essentially looks like this we're going to be having three chart pie chart by chart bar chart and area chart and after that we're going to be moving to tables so here are the tables i'm not really going to be implementing the material table per se but then i'm going to be making use of one of the most popular library available out there which is ag grid now i'm assuming that the ag grid 19 version would be available by the time i start using it and that's exactly what i'm going to be showing here on this particular tutorial right and then you would be able to move from one table to the other and then come back again and you can also choose you know the number of records to be visible on the grid all of these features are also available on the ag grid so now quickly let me take you to the ag grid documentation you'll see how that works right so i believe i've um, i've given you a basic gist of how it is going to be looking at how how it is going to be looking the basic application and also i believe you have understood like how this application is going to be behaving when we build it and before that we are going to be covering all the angular 19 features right so this is all about the angular 19 feature and if you have this is all about the angular 19 tutorial which is going to be releasing on my youtube channel which is with the name js gigs if you have not really subscribed to my channel i request you to please do so and this is the channel landing page on the youtube and if you have already subscribed to it please also also ensure that you press the bell icon in case if i post a new video you would be notified so stay tuned ladies and gentlemen it is going to be really an exciting journey wherein we would cover all the aspect of angular 19 from 0 to 100 and also we are going to be building an application something similar to the one over here so you're going to be learning a lot many things the graphs the layouts the uh, the the angular material and whatnot so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next tutorial where i'll start talking about the basic of angular and how to start and things like that so thank you uh, for listening and all that while and i'm going to be seeing you in the next tutorial